the NBC5 Sports Desk, sponsored by your New England Ford dealers. We are down to the wire for winter sports in a historic venue in our region is hosting teams in the hunt for a national championship. Welcome to the NBC5 Sports Desk. I'm Jack May. Four teams in the ECAC men's hockey narrowed down to two New York schools left standing. The Big Red of Cornell matching up against the Saints of St. Lawrence for conference championship glory. Cornell is the two seed looking for its first conference title since 2010. St. Lawrence upset Quinnipiac last night and in the seventh seed, the recent winners between these two back in 2021. First period, Cornell freshman Jonathan Castanga with the backhander that goes up and over the SLU goaltender, 1-0 Cornell after the first into the second. Same score, nice rebound attempts for the Big Red, and it's once again Castanga getting his second goal, so he's on the hunt for a hat trick. Third period, still 2-0 Cornell. St. Lawrence, though, not going down without a fight. That's Cameron Ball. Makes the nice move and gets his guys on the board, but the Saints with an empty net quickly sends it down the ice and Jack O'Leary gets the insurance goal to call it. Oh, and he almost gets upended on the end of it. Cornell is going to the NCAA tournament, hosting the trophy for the first time since 2010. And our guy Eric Kerr was in Lake Placid for championship Saturday where he captured the sights and sounds from Cornell's big day. The streak can now end at 14 years. Cornell men's ice hockey able to take their conference championship in a three to one win inside the Herb Brooks Arena in Lake Placid. Now, while the arena is quiet right now, the energy was loud as their fans taking a symbolic picture with the team in front of them, leaving a big amount of emotions. It's incredibly special. And, you know, as the game was going on and before the game, you think, this is the last time we'll, we'll have the ability to fight for this title with, with the same group of guys. So it was a very special moment. It may have been St. Lawrence that had the fans advantage yesterday, but Cornell's crowd was just as strong. And another key reason for victory was defense. St. Lawrence scoring three goals in the semifinal, but just one goal in the championship game. We played against them a couple times this year. They did the same thing they always do. They make you work for ice all over. I mean, Offensive zone, D zone, neutral zone, they're skating in your lane, giving you bumps all over, and uh, it's, it's a hard game to play against them. Cornell celebrating now, but now the focus shifts to what's next. Our league is prepared for the next level. We'll be ready for the tournament. You know, we got to kind of catch our breath. Uh, it's a little bit of a spring here with find out who we play, but we'll be ready, and it'll take a little bit, but uh, it'll be fun to go back to the, to the national tournament. We've got to try to defend that, you know, National championship. So two teams from ECAC hockey are going to get a bid. Obviously, Quinnipiac still getting an at-large despite losing in the conference semifinals. And obviously, Cornell is going to join alongside them. They're going to wait until the selection show this Sunday to see who they're going to play. But for now, reporting inside the Herb Brooks Arena in Lake Placid, Eric Kerr, NBC5 News. <laughs>